Hello and welcome back to Sound Drop Fall into Poison. Today we will be looking at one of the... So, okay, so I looked it up. I looked up how the actual ending stuff is structured. So there's basically four endings, obviously. Um, you have this ending, which apparently, before the Steam release, was the good ending. You have this ending, which was the normal ending. Honestly, I don't feel as though I want to bother with that. I might go do it on my own before I review it, like I do with all the games I uh, let's play and stuff, but I think I want to focus on these two, which are new for it. So, the first one, um, I found a spoiler-free guide that just gives me the decisions that I need to do. It also gives, like, the name of the ending. I, I will note that I know them. I won't, I won't say what they are, just because I, 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 I don't know if it counts as a spoiler. They, they're very vague, so I don't know, but still. Uh, but yeah, there's two more endings that were added for the Steam release, and essentially, I'm going to go ahead and look for the first one now. Um, I don't know how long this episode's going to be, but I'm going to try to make one ending each a week and finish off those two. Okay, let's start. Oh, this is... different. I just got an achievement, too. What now? Uh, tonight's concert is taking place at 7 p.m. at the Mantum Live Music Club Kagero. The indie band Black Rising Crows is being promoted by Koro, the bass from the major label uh, Izayoi, is and is on schedule for tonight with a popular topic of conversation. It's not that I'm not interested, but rather than hype, I prefer substance. Anyway, my aim tonight isn't the concern. In contrast to the dazzling fashion buildings, the live music club in the in a back alley with an underground feel to it. It was not long after I was born that one might say Manton really began to develop. In sync with the improvements to it, the station itself became an unquestionable hub for the subway and national railways, and Manton Station was quickly reborn as a terminal stop. The symbol of the town, Manton East Building, was built in the center of the business district, it became an entertainment hub for students, adults, and tourists alike. Uh, the stronger the light, the deeper the darkness. Unlike the east side, bustling with visitors from a wide age range, the west side developed more as a pleasure district. There are various bars and other businesses focusing on nighttime entertainment. Although cases of illegal immigrants coming in to do manual labor have increased, their higher ups remain concealed within this forest of people. Huh? I'm very confused at what's going on. The gang like unions have strengthened their pool, forging something of an unspoken agreement with the police. Inevitably, the public order has deteriorated, and this town has become dense with both light and dark. It is within the basement of a building, in a back alley, in the deepest part of the pleasure quarter beyond the west exit, that the live music club Kagero lives. A girl walking alone at this hour runs the risk of being hit on, but with strict rules being enforced these days, almost anyone who learns that the person they're talking to is a student would back off. Anyone is an easy tar uh, anyone looking for an easy target is just spineless. Occasionally, there are those who won't give up the perverted creepy types who are thrilled I'm a junior high student. We are still MC, yeah? Mayumi and everything. Right? This seems very not... Maybe we're Himi now? We definitely don't know any other middle school students. Hmm. Ah, uh, there's no merit in talking to them, so I just ignore them. Well, to be honest, the others are just worthless. Huh. Okay, this doesn't... Worthless. That's That would be a weird thing for either of them to say. Especially considering I didn't come here to pick up guys in the first place. As far as the denizens of this back alley are concerned, they seem to have learned to recognize my face, and so conversation attempts have decreased. Ignoring people is quite draining, so I'm grateful from the depths of my heart. Oh, Sayo! Oh, oh, oh! I forgot she was. I forgot she even existed. But I'm so happy! Oh my goodness! I, I, I really like her as a character. She, she might be my favorite character in this. Ah, <laughs> uh, so sad when she died. Ah, uh, yes. If you add this to the cost of the drinks, it should be exactly three thousand yen. Uh, yeah, but you're a junior high, sco uh, high school student, right? Sorry, but after 6 p.m. People under 16. Uh, must be a newbie. I click my tongue and uh, look at the staff member. I have no rec uh, 
Recollection of seeing him before. There's a large amount of turnover among live music club staff, but still, these kind of exchanges are troublesome. I've paid my money, so hand over my ticket. This place has never been a stickler for the rules. They give minors alcohol and cigarettes all the time. I'm not here for either. I'm just here to listen. If you don't, um, if you don't hurry, I'll report this place. Oh, I, I, I got it. Here it is. Ha, ha. He falters as quickly as I talk him down and hands over my ticket without incident. It's not as if someone like me would make a report, but saying so is more than enough to get him to cave. It probably feels the same, seeing me as troublesome and wanting to end the conversation as quickly as possible, which leads him to being careless. Ah, stinks of cigarettes. Yeah, I, I hate the smell. I, I don't... If you smoke, fine, whatever. But that smell of cigarettes just makes me gag. It's so bad. Uh, I come here often, even though I hate the stench of tobacco. Lately, many places have um, separate non-smoking areas, but this Kagura place is an old-fashioned mentality, so the inside is filled with smoke. I often hear it's good to be retro, but most of the one, uh, ones are saying this are people over 30s. These days, non-smokers have come to hate the secondhand smoke. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I'm probably one of those. Since there is a show tonight, the club is packed. The eyes of customers anxiously awaiting the start of the show are gleaming. I weave through the crowd, most of whom aren't paying attention to their surroundings, and reach the drink counter. Oh yeah, I totally wasn't getting Club soda in a bottle. Totally club soda, yeah. That's it. I take my drink from the bartender. Usually this would be mixed with alcohol, but I like to drink it with a little lemon. So I drop a slice in it. The faint, refreshing scent of the citrus tickles as it mixes in with the stench of tobacco on my nose. Ah, uh, this is a good spot. I lean against a pillar near the bar and touch the bottle to my lips, sipping at the carbonated water. A tingling, sens a tingling sensation gives it... Uh, the tingling sensation it gives hits the spot. I finally feel relaxed. I probably stand out amongst all these other high-strung customers, but I'm, I'm not really paying attention to mu uh, to them. Ah. Huh. Um, well, the reason I came here is to gather information on rumors regarding Manton Aquarium. Surely any junior high school girl in the metropolitan area has heard these stories? Like that day with the full moon, the water in the tank turns to blood, or that the fish with human faces swim about or get lost in the closed down deep sea fish booth and you'll never come home, with the stories written on the internet. But I can't simply dismiss these stories as meaningless. A murder to, uh, that took place at Manton Aquarium. One of many rumors. It's a story in particular that gives me a sense that something is amiss in the real world. The reason why is because the director of Manson Aquarium, my father, Sakuragi Isayo, died in the Manson Aquarium. Yes, I know. The police recorded his list as, uh, of death as accidental. In reality, his death is a suspicious, uh, suspicious one, with his cause unknown. There's only one way his body would have ended up torn to pieces in a tank at the aquarium. Oh, so, yeah. It's been about five years since then. So I was about ten at the time. Despite how young I was, I didn't believe it was an accident. But, well, with nothing going on, I had to let it go. However, lately, I've begun to hear these strange rumors. When the rumors started, it was strange that there was no origin to them. I began my search for a source about two months ago by hanging out here after hearing someone from the club Kagero work part-time at the aquarium five years ago. But nothing's come of it so far. My efforts are fruitless this time, a night where there should be the most people here, then I've resolved myself to changing the location of my investigation. Oh, hello, who are you? Oh, this is a surprise. Someone speaks to me in the Kansai dialect, coming off as an overly familiar person because of it. She doesn't speak extremely fast, so she's probably from the Kyoto area or somewhere around here. It sounds more elegant than the Osaka di uh, dialect. Well, looking at the source of the voice, I'm a bit surprised. It's a girl younger than I. I thought she might be a female otaku if no one to talk to, but really, she seems quite intriguing. That being said, she seems to be looking at uh, my way with an odd expression. What? You're creeping me out. Oh, don't say that. I mean, not to Miku. Nice to meet you. Ah, she's not the one I'm looking for. The person who worked part-time five years ago. So could have been this kid. Can't be employed until your first year of high school. Minato wears an outfit covered in frills that seems too difficult to move in. She's dressed like my polar opposite. Her outfit is girly, while the white is its base color. There's an 80-90% chance that someone dressed like that sees herself as cute. She's probably about 10 centimeters shorter than I am. Only pound sitting um, in one of the high counter chairs is she brought to my eye level. Hey, Sakuragi-san, right? How do you know my name? Minato greets me by my last name. In that moment, I become even more wary of her. I haven't told her my name. I don't like giving my name to people I don't know. So not even the staff or customers here know it. I glare warily at Minato. 
tone? Make such a scary face. Do you not recognize me? Is that why you're looking at me like that? Of course not. Well, we're from the same school. You're from Class B at Mitsuba's uh, Girls Junior High, right? I'm from Class A. We're next to each other. Huh? Mitsuba's Girls Junior High is abbreviated version of the Private Girls Academy. Mitsuba Junior High. Yeah, that's really abbreviated there. Known throughout the city as a school for rich girls. It is part of a combined junior and high school. Just as Minato says, I'm a student there. Since I haven't made any friends, I don't know any of my classmates. Even though it might be uncommon that, um... Even though it might be uncommon that some of those classmates are people who like bands enough to come to a live music club, it's not abnormal. More than that, the fact that Minato is a classmate, well, in the same age as me, it really surprises me. From her feet to her head, I look for Minato once more. To be sure her outfit is unique and brand name, and her fluffy blonde hair uh, shows scrupulous grooming. Putting aside her annoying appearance, there are definitely many girls at Mitsuba like her. Still, she's so small that I can't see her as anything but an elementary school student. Um, do you doubt me? I want to nod my head, but there's no malicious uh, intent in her having learned my name. I can't see any point in her lying to me, so she must be telling the truth. So, what do you want? I don't want anything, I just want to... I was just happy seeing a classmate at this hour in a place like this and wanted to talk to you. I see. Sorry, but I don't feel like chatting with you right now. Sayu-chan, you're like that at school too, right? Never with anyone. So, it's not a problem if I don't have friends. More importantly, drop the chan. You're the same as me, eh? Huh? What kind of band are you here for, Sayu-chan? Without getting too deep, Minato changes the subject. She continues using Chan, and since I'm already struggling with her Kyo uh, Kyoto dialect, there's a pushiness to her quiet demeanor that's hard to describe. Coupled with her tendency to do things her way, it's troublesome. I remain silent, and Minato puts her lips on the straw and her strawberry milk looks at me with upturned eyes. I'm not after one particular band. The songs are good and the band is good, I'll listen. I don't follow any of them. The fact that she doesn't look away until I answers is a bit frightening. I have no choice but to speak. While I do have my preferences, I'm not following one specific band. Just a matter of those bands that I hear and consider good. Whenever I go to live music clubs, it's usually popular bands that aren't very good. I can't stand the ones who rely on looking good, having good MC, or acting stupid uh, instead of having real substance. They're obnoxious. There's no point in declaring your success based on anything other than your music. That's why I dislike these visionless fools at the live music clubs, getting their egos inflated by morons prattling on about their dreams. I dislike the morons who gratefully listen to the fools talking about their dreams even more. Well then, I have a band to recommend. You should give it a listen uh, to the one sketched to go on right before the main act. No. Then why did you come here? If you're just here for a certain band and left after, I'd understand. But if you're just vacantly listening, then shouldn't you stay till the end so you can learn which bands are good? In reality, I was planning to stay here until the end of the performance to see if anyone stood out to me, but I think I can be forgiven for not wanting to spend extra time with Minato. Ah, uh, from the look of it, you and I don't share the same interests. That's fine, it was worth a try. I finally confirmed that despite what I say, Minato isn't listening at all. In contrast to her appearance, she's much more stubborn than I thought, since moving from here would come off as running away and might offend her, I stay put. Well, whether she's satisfied or not, she did sound softly. I thought she would talk to me about so many things. But she doesn't speak about anything any further. She seems gloomy, giving the feeling that she was disappointed. Huh. Uh, Sayu-chan, those were good, weren't they? Uh, so-so. After the show, we head back to the station. I don't really want to, well, walk with her, but trying to convince her not to follow me is just too much effort. The nightscape is terribly bright. No, wait, they had amazing rhythm. Silky Strawberry. Since Minato recommended them, I thought it'd be a goth band or something, but they're actually a classic rock group. The guitarists and vocalists in particular were the best I saw today. The main act, is Ayoi, wasn't bad, but there's just a major difference in their level of skill. Because of that, I sort of feel as though it wouldn't be so bad if, um, if they were here the next time I came. Those lyrics, though, I can't get into them. Huh? Everyone, uh, everything else was good, though. Are you really sticking with no good and bad and they suck for your impressions of the other bands, though? Minato's more knowledgeable about music than I expected, telling me her impressions during breaks in the performance. The only thing she takes away from my comments are those three thoughts. There's no value to what I said, so it's understandable. 
Ah, whatever, there's a breaking conversation. I realize that Silky Strawberry has come up every time. Thinking back on it, most unusual thing is that Minato and I don't talk about anything but music. It's more mysterious than suspicious. Speaking of which, I don't particularly initiate most of the conversation. Instead, I'm soaking over my inability to gain any information about Manson Aquarium. My silence probably persists for five minutes. Minato is a slow walker, and I think about leaving her behind. I don't know why I didn't. The, the one to break the silence, though, quite suddenly, is Minato. You know, I experienced something weird today. I don't respond, continuing to ignore her, but she continues her story anyways. You ever hear of Manson Aquarium? <gasps> Who would have thought the story might go to Manson Aquarium eventually? Shock and awe. I have... Before the main event tonight, I used a year pass and went there, but... Your pass is a brief vision for your long passport. Of course it is! A thank you game for explaining something fair- What? Okay, whatever. I, I guess there might be someone out there that doesn't know that. It's a ticket that allows you to enter as many times as you want. At 5,500 yen, tax excluded, you can get- Okay, whatever. Three times, one year, etc. Furthermore, five years to start selling a pass case set with an illustration of a photography kit. It's a premium. It's a premium version sold at 10,000 yen before tax. It's fairly expensive, but the illustrator is popular with apparel companies, and the design containing all the fish is popular with the young woman, giving such goods is a great deal of value. As additional perks uh, keep getting added to the premium version, you can get the ability to add, uh, visit Manton East Building Observation Deck as much as you please, as well as a 5% discount at some of the restaurants within the building. With so many perks, the year pass has become quite a big hit. It's the idea of Manson Aquarium staff member, but the rumor says they've since left the company. It's unthinkable that it has some relation to uh, the director, my father's incident. With that in mind, I wait for the rest of Minato's story. That deep sea fish booth was supposedly closed long ago, right? But I was able to go in. Moreover, there were fish inside. That's not all. The fish were swimming outside of the tanks. Ooh. Why are you alive? Huh? Are you stupid? The deep sea fish booth is closed. Like you said, there shouldn't be any fish. Which is uh, why I said it was weird from the get-go. I thought it was daydreaming. I got caught up in the feeling and spaced out for a bit, so I don't really remember anything from that time clearly. Minato's you know, saying something strange. Honestly, if I didn't know better, I'd say she sounded like she just got high or something. It's frustrating, but that's exactly what I, why I can't ignore it. The story Minato is telling me is part of those ridiculous urban legends I'm investigating. Uh, who did he hear this story from? I didn't. It happened today. But I don't have anyone I thought I could tell. Really? Sometimes there are people who like spreading those kinds of rumors. I told you, I don't have anyone to talk about that kind of stuff. Hmm. Um, in other words, Minato isn't the person I'm looking for. The one who spreads the rumors about Manson Aquarium. Well, the fact that she's spreading a rumor to you right now, and she never said anything about never doing it in the past. Hmm, I don't know. Oh no, she did say something along those lines. Hmm. In other words, yeah. On the other hand, Minato's observation are in fact giving me the other uh, rumors some credibility. You're serious. I guess it's natural that you doubt me after all. It's such a weird story, so I can't forgive you for that. So I can forgive you for that. I find it weird myself, but I thought you might believe me, Saichan. It's not that I believe you, but it's that I don't either. After I say this, the conversation ends. We walk on without a word, and all the distance to the station is short. It seems as though we go on forever. What a familiar station. Well, time to go home. I'm going this way. It seems Minato's going the other way. As we're about to part, I call after Minato. Ever since you told me about the, about the bizarre thing that happened to her today, I've been wondering what I should do. I decided I should choose the most efficient option. Are you free tomorrow? Yeah, why? About the deep sea fish booth you say you went into. I can't really believe if I don't see it with my own eyes. If you really did see it, then take me there. So you mean we'll go to Manton Aquarium together? So... Was this Minato girl there? Huh. We're not going to have fun. We're going to do research. It'll be, well, I'll be waiting at the coffee shop at Manton Aquarium at 5. Ocean cruising, right? Okay, I'll go along. For some reason, Minato looks happy. Even though I've asked her to be my guide, she probably isn't inconvenienced by it. Hmm. So that's why. So that's how I parted with Minato. It's a case at the window of the train. I suddenly remember that. Oh yeah, tonight is the night of the full moon.
So maybe I should go today because of the full moon, you know? Mm. This is so weird. This is so much... Just the whole beginning of the game's different. This is so weird. The next day I enter the coffee shop at 5 p.m. I can write on time, but there's no sign of Minato. Since I don't participate, uh, participate in any clubs, I still arrive in plenty of time after stopping off at my house. I take a seat by the window and order a club soda. The new sandwich posted by the door looks delicious, but now it's hungry, so I don't order one. I wait for her for about five minutes. Sorry to keep you waiting. It took a little while to get changed. Yeah, I mean, you're only wearing the exact same thing as before. I thought that might be the case. I anticipated this by changing before coming. Ah, be that as it may. In an area as heavily patrolled as Manton, it's easier to move in regular clothes than in school uniforms. Still, now looking like an elementary schooler, I would have my doubts about how effective this will be. Ah, wait a sec. As soon as Minato arrives and puts her bag down, she stands back up right away. Some time passes before she returns, having bought a sandwich and iced coffee a lot the words. I haven't eaten yet, can we get a bite? You're asking me after you already bought it. Are you sober? Time to eat. That's a no. I feel irritated, but Minato's cooperation in my investigation of Manson Aquarium is essential. As Minato eats her sandwich, I drink my club soda little by little. Slowly. It's the roast beef and mock... Um... Something cheese sandwich that caught my interest earlier. The thick, acidic scent that wafts my ways without a doubt. Dressing with bals uh, balsamic vinegar as its main ingredient. Huh, the seemingly homemade roast beef doesn't uh, seem to have many slices, but each one is thick. The cooked parts and the tinge of redness seem to create a good balance. Saya-chan, what's up? Nothing. Ah, you want a bite? Yeah, you want a bite? Say ah! Are you stupid? Oh, you don't? This is my first time eating with a friend, so I'm not really good at reading the situation. Oh, do you not have friends either? Hmm... That would make your whole approaching me very weird. Did you just see someone who you thought might, um... You might be a, a friend with someone who might share your interest at the club, and you're like, oh, They're from my school! I can go be friends with them! And you got your courage up, and you walk over her, and you start talking to her, and then you get shot down. But this all happened, so it's good. I'm not good at this kind of thing myself, so don't just call me as your friend. To be sure, her observation was correct, but I don't exactly want her to share a sandwich with me. If I'm going to have some, I'll buy my own. Minato eats the rest of, itself, uh, rest of itself consciously. It's not really much conversation, and only when she's finished drinking her iced coffee, blah, 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 does she suggest, let's go. That was delicious, but I'm full. Probably ate too much. What? You knew you weren't going to finish it earlier? If I had known, I would have accepted your offer. So... It wasn't that you didn't want it? I have my reasons. Very well, let's try sharing next time. I wonder if there will be a next time at the rumors of Manson Aquarium, as well as the truth. Uh, all of it might be revealed today. What the f- there's this whole- This is confusing. Everything was just so tied up in a nice little package last time. And now this is happening. I know- is this new to the Steam release? I don't know if this is new to the Steam release. I know the new endings are new to the Steam release. I don't know if this is. I don't even know if this is part of the endings. Because the only thing I know about the endings is that there are choices you have to make, specific ones. Hmm. Two hours later, our efforts prove fruitless as we stand still at uh, entrance. With no results, the air between us is gloomy. How weird. Yesterday I was walking, the door was wide open. Oh, so they got nothing? I see. Do you hate me? Yes, I hate you. You're horrible. How dare you bring me here without any results? No. <laughs> no. Not in particular. Although I didn't like you to begin with. Why does this discussion of whether or not I like her keep coming up? What's most important right now is asserting the truth of the rumors. Minato, uh, doesn't appear, uh, Minato doesn't appear to be lying, in which case the mystery of the deep sea fish booth, well, deepens a bit further. So, was the difference between yesterday and today? What was it? We have no choice but to look back inductively. I wonder if it was because we were together. So we tried one at a time, but nothing changed. What else? Minato appears to be in thought, but finally a troubled look appears on her face. She answers with a tone of suffocation. The difference? I don't know, why? Well, tell me again from the start. 
from the beginning, huh? Well, I came here uh, to have fun with seemingly normal mantid aquarium. Some guy called out to me. Speaking of which, I heard him talk about mantid aquariums, urban legends. Some guy. <sighs> Don't tell me it's Kenji. Uh, so we need to go to him. If we don't find him, we won't learn anything. You don't remember anything in particular about him, do you? When he called out to me, I thought he was just hitting on me. He was a tall man, but anything more detailed than that. She says, looking flustered. I... Is that really the only thing you can describe? If, uh, I wonder just how optimistic we can be. If we're ambushed within Manton Aquarium, we may actually need the, uh, meet the guy Minato was talking about. I quickly deny those thoughts. Despite hanging around Manson Aquarium for a while, we find no clues, so we go to the clubs to do some research. In other words, we're going completely in circles. Ugh. Sayu-chan, are you mad? I'm not really mad at you. Sayu-chan, are you detectives or something? What? Are you stupid? You just don't talk like a normal person is all, Sayu-chan. Are you investigating Manton Aquarium? It doesn't matter, does it? Not good. I want to be your friend, Sayo-chan. I don't want you to hate me over something like this. Uh, ridiculous. Uh, yeah. She's never had eight with a friend. She wants to be my friend. Oh yeah, I'm taking on the persona of Sayo because I always do that for main characters. And she's the main character right now. I know she's not actually the main character. This is weird. This is weird. This is not what I expected going into this. Ah. Uh, I click my tongue, then heave a heavy sigh. Minato's point of view is always so different from mine. I've not the slightest idea how the conversation ended up this way. That is enough. I'll investigate on my own. Sayu-chan. As I start to leave Manton Aquarium, Minato calls after me. Um, if you have time this weekend, I want to come back here with you. If you're looking to those rumors, Sayu-chan, I'll help you. Why? I told you, didn't I? Uh, didn't I? I want to be your friend. I want to do all kinds of stuff with you, Sayu-chan. That's why I'm asking you the reason why. Probably because you like music and because you do, uh, you listen to what I have to say. But it could be something different. I don't really understand it myself. It doesn't matter to me whether or not you're with me. Your thoughts aren't wrong. It's just that I'm asking for uh, for my own reasons. I say this curtly and Minato looks down. After a brief pause, I continue. Next Friday, I'll come here once more. I stop, stop off by the cafe at the train station around the same time. Do as you like. Sayu chan. Later. Okay, later. Aw, that's nice. Even though I don't know why I said it like that. It's not like I like or dislike Minato. She shouldn't mean anything to me. I don't feel like I've gotten all that close to the truth. Even so, I have a gut feeling that Minato's experience is directly connected to the truth. Even if Minato herself turns out to be useless, there's no mistake. Uh, that something may happen that involves her. Holy shit. Holy shit, how long is it? This might be a whole episode onto itself. This is already half an hour. Holy shit. This is really long. What, what is the point? Of I mean, there's a whole new character. This is still, like, before it happens, right? But we never see her. I mean, the safe assumption is that they go there and Sayu gets pulled in and she's like all in on that and Minato just gets stuck out there. And she's just there. Because that's the safe assumption about what happens and if that happens then she really shouldn't have any direct input on this story at all. But, but clearly, she's supposed to be important for some reason. And I don't know what. And it's really... The fact that this is happening at all is just so... what the fuck. Not even attempting to hide my irritation, I walk along clicking my tongue numerous times. After school, my homeroom teacher suddenly calls me out. Minato Miku is homesick, and I am to take some important paperwork to her. I don't care if there's summons or exam results, I didn't pay attention. If the family can't come, then friends are asked to deliver papers. When the homeroom teacher said this, my name apparently came up. Oh, God. Am I her... am I really her only friend? Uh, I thought about protesting that since he was the teacher. He should take it himself, but then I remembered I was on cleaning duty, and I could use this as an excuse to skip out. That's better than delivering something al- It's better delivering something alone than having to do anything with my vapid classmates. 
After school, I changed and head for the address that the home te a homeroom teacher gave me. Uh, so it's here. Using a private railway line from the west gate of Manton Station it takes about ten minutes. I buy drinks at the supermarket near the station. I get the impression that I have long since left the city. Miyano's home is on the twelfth floor of an apartment building. The building is beautiful. It seems to have been built within the last five years. The entrance is serene, like a hotel lobby, illuminated by a warm colored lighting. I press the button for the intercom. After waiting for about a minute, I hear Minato's voice. Hi. Hurry and unlock it. The auto lock is released and I take the elevator up. It's wide enough to fit about eight people in one car. What a very particular and probably very unimportant detail. The interior of the apartment shares its orange color lighting with the entrance. The door faces away from the highway, causing the neighboring apartment to seem close. Wait. Wait, 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 she's sick? She suddenly got sick after all- Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, 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 is this what I- This is what I think it is, isn't it? Uh, Sayu-chan, thanks. I just came because I was asked to. Now this apartment is as pretty as I imagined it would be. There's little furniture and everything is kept meticulously tidy. I figured she would be bad at keeping things clean based on her carefree personality, but that really doesn't appear to be the case. There are a few utensils in the kitchen, but on closer inspection, dust is gathered in places well out of reach. Well, that's a letdown. I can venture a guess at the type of life she leads. I'll leave the documents on the table in your living room along with some sports drinks, club soda, and fruits. I'm opening your fridge. But hey, the meat and not one in here is gonna go bad. The moment I open the fridge, a foul odor wafts out. There's mold growing on the meat, and the natto is impossible to describe. Less than a word, I toss them in the trash. Most of the trash appears to be wrappers for side dishes and junk food. Figures she barely cooks at all. Eh, <sighs> even I'm not this bad. I had no idea. The natto's already bad? Uh, there's a difference between fermentation and spoilage. Even though it's in the fridge, it's on the verge of going bad. Are your parents not around? Is that why you had me bring these papers in their stead? I borrow a glass and rinse it out, then pour club soda inside. I sigh to have a drink before I head home and sit down on the sofa. Minato seems to have improved after having slept for half the day. She pours one of the sports drinks I brought into a glass and sits down on the living room sofa. She sits, uh, sits down beside me, but it's a big enough sofa that it doesn't really feel cramped. Taking a sip, Minato responds. You see, my mother's a single parent. Without lemon, it's less. I'm less than satisfied. I glance at the clock and see it's already 4:30. The numbers on the clock leave a bigger impression on me than Minato's lonely expression. It's definitely made in Italy. I look around, noting that she owns many expensive things, including the furniture. Minato gives a small smile at the fact that I show no reaction. Sorry for saying something like that. It has nothing to do with you. That expression seems to be saying that it still isn't enough, but I don't really exactly care to hear her story. Looking around, the apartment gives me a general understanding. Those words confirm the fact that her mother rarely comes home. However, none of that has anything to do with me. So, let me guess, she's a super busy working mother, single parent type. That seems like it would be the cliche. For some time, the only sound is the, uh, that of the clock hand. Time passes as it plays a fixed rhythm. I clean up my empty glass and say to Minato, well, I have to go. Hey, Sayu-chan, are we still on for visiting the aquarium we planned for Friday? You know, ask me after I've stood up. It's not exactly a plan, but why wouldn't we be? My objective hasn't been met. You should know that much. Good, I'll see you then. I hope she's better then. See you then. We go to the same school, but weird is weird. That's how our relationship is. I don't want to be seen as a being s I don't want to be seen as being so close to somebody. Ugh, my people. Ugh, I, I don't want people to think I have friends. The horror. Ugh, it's horrible. Well, at least, not enough so that they might think I have a friend. Which is a possibility if they see us talking at school. Uh, I'll walk you to the entrance. She says as I'm already on my way out. And... Ba -da -boom -boom -boom. I have a feeling this really is what I think it is. I mean, I'll finish the speakings, but then there's a dull thud that causes me to turn around. Minato? 
Malice collapsed on the spot. I call out to her, but there's no response, so I walk back over to her. When I touch her uh, to sit up, I feel as though she has a high fever. Following her fall, her breathing has become ragged. So, you pushed yourself too hard. Why? I didn't push myself too hard. You came all this way, I just want to talk to you. Don't talk, uh... Anyway, you need to lie down on the sofa. Perhaps that the sofa is so big. As I help her, Minato lies down. Minato has misinterpreted things. It's not that I came to her house for personal reasons, much less the chat. However, now is not, uh, how, however, now is not the time to chastise her about such things. Minato's fever was very high. She's sort of breath and sitting up, and it seems to be getting harder and harder for her to breathe. Oh. Don't tell me she feels like she's drowning. Uh, I'm fine, Saicha. Don't speak. I fill a bowl of water, dip it in wa a, a washcloth inside, and place it on Minato's forehead. The spot is building up, so I use a separate cloth to wipe, uh, wipe it away. A little bit of sports drink should be okay, so I pour some in her mouth, or she will become dehydrated. It's been really hot lately, so she's probably really tired from that too. That's basically all I can do, so I devote the rest of my energy to things like changing the water in the bowl. Her physical condition hasn't improved, but the symptoms have subsided somewhat. Ah, this thought crosses my mind. I glance at the clock. Hmm, and the clock has already rolled around. Minato seems sleepy, so I lend her my shoulder and put her to bed. As I do, I decide I should leave. According to Minato, her mother should be home soon. Honestly, I feel worried about leaving her to a parent that lets her live this lifestyle, but Minato insists that she's alright, so I give in. Worrying won't help much. I've always had a strong constitution, but... It's because of your eating habits. Say something to your mother tomorrow and reevaluate your diet. The cause is clear. Having suggested that, I will continue. Later. Sayuchana, I'll get better by Friday. It's fine, so be quiet. I'll go to Manson Aquarium, regardless of whether you're with me or not. There's no need for you to worry about it. So like you, Sayuchan. I begin to hear the soft breathing of someone who's fallen asleep. As I take a step away, I think it over. I heave a sigh, realizing what happened from here on does not concern me. Get better soon, otherwise, this will leave a bitter taste in my mouth. It's more than likely that she can't hear me, but I realize at the moment that her breathing has gotten louder. Just like that, I leave Minato's home behind. Hmm. It's not difficult to see where this is going. It really... Oh... Apparently, it was that very night that Minato left from her apartment building. Oh my goodness, that was the opening? What? Oh god. Oh god. That's horrible. She didn't crash into the ground, instead getting caught in a tree with almost no injury. But it seems she won't wake up. Okay, that, that does... The point of impact was probably pretty bad, and there's also a possibility that she hit her head. I hear that it wasn't suicide. I heard talk that was because she tried to sit out on her balcony. But it's hard to believe. All that's going around the school is the rumor that Minato took her own life. So she's not dead. She isn't dead. I really don't want her to be dead, because she seems really nice. Being unable to wake up despite having no injury, the rumor floating around about around the hospital that she lost her life energy, the thing that a person needs in order to keep on living. That's not a, that's not a thing. I wish that at least the doctors would refute such nonsense. Yeah, that seems like something that would be in their M.O. Refute pure, unscientific bullshit. It's only a matter of time before a mysterious jump becomes intertwined with urban legends surrounding Manson Aquarium. Only the most sensational things, with no basis in reality, become part of the rumors. I don't have any desire to track down the whole truth, so for me, the information I've gotten up to now on the subject is, well, enough. Of course, it's, of course it seems like she wouldn't be able to come to school anymore. She isn't getting any visitors either. But with nothing, ans with nothing but unanswered questions, it seems I'm left with a bad aftertaste after all. Reminds me of the flavorless taste of club soda with no lemon in it. Oh god, that's... Oh, there's more? Oh my goodness, there's more. 
I'm already so sad, game. Why do you do this to me? Ah. Oh. So, I, I suppose what she's... It sounded like... I, I'm getting the impression from Sayu there that, um... What she's saying is that the bad aftertaste in the mouth is that the answers of why Manton Aquarium did, does what it does were not answered. No, that's almost meta. That's almost fourth wall breaking a little bit there. <laughs> hmm. On Friday night, despite all of this, I go to the coffee shop. Even though I know she won't come, I feel as though I should keep my end of the promise. After I wait for an hour, Minato does not come. After that, I head for Manson Aquarium alone, but a fruitless endeavor. I couldn't find the one spreading the rumors after all. Uh, sounds like Silky Strawberry is performing again tonight. I sit down at the first, uh, furthest edge of the bar and put my drink to my lips. After the director, my father passed away and my mother took custody of me. My mother divorced my father while I was still young, so I don't really know why they did it, but she probably had money issues with my business consume. Dreamer of a father. My mother lived with her parents, my grandparents. As the daughter of a man who divorced their daughter, I was seen as nothing more than a burden, and those days were lonely and sad. Not a single member of the family came to uh, the day of my junior high entrance ceremony. When I came home, several days worth of meals for me were in the refrigerator, and money for daily expenses was far more than a student would ever need uh, were left on the table. Back in those days, I hope they still love me, as they had paid attention uh, for me to attend an expensive private school. But I got my answer. The impression I got from the neighbors was that the reason I was able to attend a private school is because of my father's insistence. On top of the desk was a memo pad with the words, We'll be on a trip until next week. Verdun and money left just sitting there. Their car had also disappeared from the parking lot. Oh, so basically her entire family went on vacation and was just like, Don't bring her. My school was not in the area, so no one knew when my entrance ceremony was. Sending me to school so far away was the same thing as my mother putting me out of sight, out of mind. <sighs> it was fine with me. I came to the conclusion that the reason my father had cussed me was because my mother hadn't wanted me from the start. Then on their way home, they all died in an accident. My mother, grandparents, and also a young man that was with them. Ha, huh, a random young man. Ooh la la. So my inheritance passed down to me. There was a struggle against my relatives to see who would get custody of me. When I saw the amount of my inheritances, I realized that the divorce was so much that my mother's family's assets wouldn't be depleted by my father's debts. Rather than be sad, I looked to the future ahead. Using the name of some relative I didn't care for, I rented an apartment near the school I uh, attended, and blowing through my inheritance, began living alone. Learning the full truth did not sadden me. Instead, on the occasion of my father's passing, the feeling that I had was I was always alone was reiterated for me once more. When I came back to the presence, Silky Strawberry is about to perform. Before the first song finishes, I leave the club. Tonight's song resonates too heavily with my heart. On my way home, I'm reminded of when I walked to... This is amazing that they just added this whole... This is long, too. This is not short. I was expecting to just, like, jump into an ending today, and... There's just a lot. The lights of the town and uh, uh, the town at night are so pretty. I realize I prefer walking alone. The moon isn't out tonight, though. Uh, I remember that ridiculous rumor. Like that on the day of a full moon, the water in the tanks turns to the blood, or that fish with the human faces swim about. And for those who get lost in the closed down deep sea fish booth, never come home. Worth the stories written on the internet. Ah, uh, not caring what I heard, I click my tongue at the center of the road. The answer had been there for me, uh, there from the start. The day that something would happen, that's... Now. Several days later, I pay a visit to the Manson Aquarium. Occasionally hear about Minato's uh, condition, but there's apparently no change. Today being Sunday, the town's full of people, but Manson Aquarium is empty. Those rumors must have had some influence to them. Surely after the incident with Minato, the rumors had gained even more credibility. Even without knowing the truth somewhere, subconsciously, it must have seemed plausible enough. Let's go. On the day of the full moon, I am ready. Even if it means losing my life to the full moon, I will find the truth. Because there's nothing more I can lose. Uh, was 
this this I don't think I've seen this before before she realized the girl was standing before an imposing door. You occasionally came to Manta Aquarium alone. She watched the Manta Rays, watched the other five side. Oh, wait. Oh no, this is the normal opening, right? I need let me let me double check. Let me double check. So skip only previously read. Okay. So skip. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, I wow, okay, that was very unexpected. That's so sad. I wanna save Minato now. Can I save can I save Minato? I wanna save Minato now. Ah. Uh, that definitely does that that is the definition of influencing that bad taste in your mouth. I definitely want to go figure out what's actually happening. Uh okay, so I um you know, I, I had enough time to record what I thought would be an ending. And considering this has taken about 50 minutes now, I'm not really sure I have enough time. I don't have enough time to ensure that I can. So, this mu I might end up just making this an episode on its own. And I'll do another episode early next week for the ending. So, I'll, um... Oh! Oh! She was in the opening, wasn't she? Huh. I wonder if I'm... Hmm, okay. This opening. So... Is there anything... Well... I mean, a lot of this makes sense now. I mean, it's so water in that scene. The, probably the killer whales. That's probably what it's referencing. And what if this, this is, I don't know, that's nice imagery, but I'm not really sure what it means. Uh, if, I, this is actually, I don't think the CGs have been here yet. Whatever those are. I don't know if they're unique for this, but a lot of them like this. That's from, like, the game straight up. And that one, too. That one I haven't seen, but... Hmm, huh, okay. Well, that has been Sound of Drop Fall into Poison, and I, I guess I'll see you next time for an actual ending this time. Yay! See you. Drive safely.